Yo, what's the boys and girls? It's the boy Bailey Drum. So, if you look in the description of all my YouTube videos, you will find this link. It takes you to this, and you can go to my main YouTube channel. You can go to Discord. Follow me on there. You can go on Twitter. You can follow me on Snapchat. You can follow me on TikTok and Facebook Game. So, make sure you guys stay up to date on all my content. It's your boy Bailey Drum. Peace out. Yo, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Belly Drum, and in today's video we are going to go and shiny hunt for shiny fluttermane. Now I already have it, but I figured let me just go and make a guide on, on it for you guys. So this is the shiny, I got this a couple of hours ago, so I've been trying to figure out how to actually make this glitch work so I can show you how to do it so what we're going to do is we are going to save we're gonna save right here now everything that I'm doing is very important so I already did this so what you want to go and do is you want to save exit out of your game and make sure your time says 1 30 a.m. And then, since I already did that, we're going to go do a picnic. So we're going to go Shiny Hill Fluttermane, which is in the great crater of Paldea. Alright, so. Now this is going to be Shiny Power Level 3, Encounter Level 3, which the Encounter Power Level 3 is the one that you need in order for this glitch to work. So you need two red onions. You need prosciutto, you need red, green, yellow. Uh, let me make sure. Because there's actually two ways you can do this. Alright, so yes, that's fine. And then I'm going to use two spicy urban mysticas. I don't think those are important. However, if you want to do this, the easier way, instead of having to use all these ingredients, is you can use one... All right, so let me take all this off. So what you can do, you can do this, and then you can use a spicy Herba Mystica, and if you have a salty, you can use a salty Herba Mystica, but in this case, we're going to go with this. So red, green, yellow. So now we go with the silver pick. All right, so let's put down our pr prosciutto. Now you guys got to make sure that you do not have anything falling over. Which means try not to get it like on the extreme edge of it, but yeah, also make sure that you have enough room on your sandwich. So we're gonna go green, yellow, red, and then we're gonna go yellow, green, red, and then just because that's scary, we're gonna go right here, right here. Last but not least, oh, uh, we made a stick. Let's go. Mm. All that, and we made a stick. So the encounter power level 3 is what you really need and sparking power level 3 is also what you need. That's fine, that's fine. I'm going to also sh probably show you guys how to do another recipe really easily. So the title power gives you, I believe it's the mark, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Tidal Power increases your chance of finding a Pokemon with a mark. Alright, so let's go down here. And to make the spawn rates go really fast, we are going to actually not go to research level 1. We need to go to the research level four. 
So now let's go to research level four. So you see how there's no Pokemon over here? That's because of the encounter power. So if we get on Rhydon, that's not what it was meant to do. So if we use the ZL button, we can actually spawn in the ghost type Pokemon really quickly. And I hope I can actually get it for you guys. So once the shiny actually does pop up, you're gonna have to save, and then in some instances, you're gonna have to save right in front of it, and then exit out of your game, because it won't let you spawn in. Uh, can you check behind you? That's fine. I don't think it really matters. So, this is a trigger warning for anyone that has epilepsy. I mean, if anything, I could pause the recording and then go from there. So this is how you spawn and despawn the ghost type Pokemon really quickly. It has to do something with the the day and night time counters, so that's why I said to change your clock to 1.30 in the morning. Make sure you look around. So this is like one of the fastest spots that you can find over here. So once it's shiny spawn, it's gonna be like the let's go feature. And Karadon can't kill it, and the only way you can encounter it is if you actually encounter it yourself. I didn't mean to do that. So I feel like I should just like pause the recording before we actually get it. That way, no one gets an epilepsy. What I will do is I can put a timestamp to where we can actually get the shiny. So let me just go ahead and pause the recording. Y'all, we, that did not take that long, bro. All right, so we got ourselves another shiny Fluttermane. We're gonna save in front of you. Your shiny, if you have it, okay? Just save right in front of it. So, the, all right. So this time we actually were able to to get in front of it. So in case in case you can't walk into it, so I actually had this happen to me. So you just quit the game after you save in front of it, right? Cool. Oh, well, let me actually not push cancel. Hands up. All right, let's go. So after this loads, after this loads, we'll be able to get. We'll be able to get the shiny. See, you'll be able to walk into it. So now we actually have to catch this thing. It's got Mystical Fire, it's got Power Gym, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. So those are your four moves that you want to look out for.
And if you bring in Coridon, it will boost Kirby's synthesis. Oh dang, I thought we had it. If you bring in Coridon, it'll boost the Protosynthesis and it'll boost boost the special attack of Fluttermane. That's fine. Keep using Dazzling Gleam on me while I catch you. Of course it was a crit. And I don't think I have any revives even. Um. Oh, this one was speed? Oh, I guess it just depends really. Um, okay. Don't use Dazzling Gleam on me. So let me type in Flutter me. Oh, you son of a. So th there's a reason why we stayed in front. Flutter me. Or not Flutter me. Showdown, I need showdown. Do we have Scrappy? False light. Oh, I thought we were gonna catch it. So we don't have any Scrappy False Swipe in the game. Come on, Fluttermain. The only one we have is the Hisui Decidueye. Thank goodness the, the speed wore out. Not that we're actually using our speed. So let me pause this and then I'm just gonna go to where I captured it because you already seen it, it's shiny. So let me pause this recording and we'll be right back. Well, all right then, I literally reset the game through one luxury ball and then I caught it. All right, so let's send to the boxes. Let's go to the boxes. Let's put these two over here. Let's grab you. And we're going to compare it to our shiny. So this one is plus attack minus special defense. So let's see. So this one has more, more fantastic speed. So I guess it's like beast boost in a way. So this one has more special attack than, I don't know. Huh, I don't know. Well, they're both fairy Terra. One's bold, one's naughty. But that is how you get shiny flutter meaning in Pokemon Sword and, or Sword and Shield. Uh, not too long ago. Also, if you want to see my other shiny, I have all these shiny. So I have shiny Skeledurge. I have shiny Altaria. Um, I got traded this Rev of Room from a friend in my Discord. Link in the description down below for all my socials, including my Discord. 
I got this one from somebody in my Discord. It's very ugly. And then, as you can see, I just got this one. And I got this one, like, literally two hours earlier. But it's your boy, Belly Drum. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video with a friend, and peace out.